Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So today's video I have a skincare video for you and um, I've been planning to film this for a long time. It's just, I just don't know which format like to do or I don't know how best to film this. Last week I watched Patricia Bright's video, um, skincare video, I think it was how much her skincare costs and I thought that would be a fun video to recreate and also it'd be interesting to know how much my skincare actually costs and also I get the chance to sit down and talk you through my skincare and also demo some of the products um, that I use on a daily basis so yeah so that's what we're going to do today so so my skincare is oily I'll probably say it's more dehydrated oily skin and my skincare concerns are moisture um, anti-aging and I'm not so much into hyperpigmentation anymore these days, it's just it's what it is. And then in terms of fighting the oil, I've, sort of, like, I've just come to embrace it because I've come to realise that the more I moisturise my skin or the more my skin is hydrated, it tends to balance itself out. So that's the background. So to get my makeup off, I usually do the double cleanse. So to start off, I use the micellar, the Garnier micellar oil infused cleansing water. So I prefer this to the 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 normal one, the pink one. It's just a personal preference. I just I just like this one better. It's just a quick way to cleanse your skin or just remove makeup in general. Okay. So this cost it's five ninety nine, six ninety nine I believe. So so after that I'll go in with the clinic to take the dough off balm. So this is my favourite cleanser to remove makeup and I just scoop a bit out here. It's just a gentle way of taking your makeup off and it, but it's very effective. It's gentle on the skin but it's very effective on makeup and I just massage just... I find this so therapeutic as well. Um, just give your skin a bit more TLC when I do this and sometimes I find myself just massaging my face for about <laughs> 5 minutes straight. So this cost um, 19.95. I usually buy this from World Duty Free, and um, I think the full price is about 23 pounds. So the other cleansers that I use is the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. This is like my favourite cleanser, and I use this in the morning. So it's pretty much same. It's pretty much the same thing as the Clinique one. Just apply this onto dry skin. You can also use this to remove your makeup, but I prefer to use this in the morning. It contains like natural active ingredients and that's why I like it. So whenever I break out, this is the best cleanser to use to um to just help my skin back to normal. So this is £26. So I'm actually gonna apply some lip balm because it's just I look a bit crusty right now. So um talk, speaking of lip balm, the one I use I use the Glossier Coconut Balm.com and this is the best lip balm ever. Um, I use this morning and night, so I use this just before I put my lipstick on. And then it's just so comfortable to wear underneath lipsticks. And then at night I put this on and in the morning my lips are just soft and hydrated. I don't need to exfoliate. So this is great and I would recommend it. And I think this is about £10. We will not on to the next cleanser. So the other one I have is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. So this is like just so this is like your usual rinse off um type of cleanser and I tend to use this in the shower when I just want everything done quickly or I use this as my second cleanser. With days with heavy makeup I always do like double or triple cleanse and this is the one I use along with the cognac sponge. So you can use this on its own but I find it effective if I use them together. So just rinse this up, up. Once you soak it, it becomes really soft because right now it looks really, it looks rock hard. So once you put it in water, it becomes soft and I just use these together. This was gifted to me, but I think it retails for £32. And then the last cleanser that I have is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Again, this is very hydrating, so when I need that moisture, this is the one I got for. It's very simple, fuss free, and this is £16. Right, that's it for cleansers and Moving on to exfoliator, so I, the one I use again is from Lizelle and this is a gentle face exfoliator and this again has natural active ingredients, eucalyptus, cocoa butter and fine jojoba beads and I like to use this just for that physical exfoliation and this is great at buffing up, um, buffing the skin and removing any dead skin cells and just leaving my skin very soft and plump so I go in with this after I've cleansed my skin 
I usually use this about twice a week now that I use more acids in my routine this is great and I think this is 16 pounds so that's it for cleansers so now we're going to move on to toners and I have three in front of me so these two are the one I use day in day out so these are from um, body shop so I have here the vitamin E hydrating toner just what it says what it does what it says on the bottle it's a hydrating toner so I use this to bring back any moisture that I've lost during the cleansing process and then this one is the seaweed oil balancing toner so when I need that extra cleanse this has that extra cleansing property so when I feel like okay I don't want to go in the second cleanser this really helps with removing any last traces of makeup or dirt so the hydrating one is very gentle to use on your eyes as well and um, not so much about the other one it does sting a little bit so I will be cautious both of these retail for eight pounds each now moving on to the last toner which is the ordinary glycolic acid I reserve this for evening use only because it will make the skin a little bit sensitive to light and so I use this in the night so this is more like a another form of exfoliating basically this helps with just again removing any dead skin cells and also brightening up the face so I think this is £70 so moving on to actually let's go to eye care the one I'm using now is Clinic All About Eyes I'm almost out of this I've got another one on the way and this is just a this is a really nice eye cream it height so my under eye area is the driest part of my face so I like to um, make sure it is well moisturized and hydrated this is supposed to help with deep puffing your eyes and just um, refreshing tired eyes but in terms of moisturizing this really does the job this was gifted to me along with my moisturizer which I'll talk about now on to serum so I have six and they're all from the ordinary and um, I have some that I use for morning and some that are reserved purely for evening use like the uh, green active retinoid so this is to help with anti-aging and firm the skin and this is the only retinoid item that I have in my skincare it's a gentle one I have the marine hyaluronic this is a lighter version to the, to the original one I should say and um, this is more recommended for those with oily skin and I tend I like this one because the original one made, made my skin feel a bit sticky especially I couldn't layer products or any other serums on top of it this is so light I like to use this for layering so I'm just, just like to rub this in my part and then I, I press this into my skin so this one is £5.90 right moving on so the other serum that I'm going to use is the, is the buffet so this was like a multi-technology peptide serum so it's like a cocktail of serums together so it, it gives you that moisture it has moisturizing properties anti-aging and it's just an all-rounder so this is the one I usually recommend if you don't know where to begin it's always good to wait in between before laying on your serums just because you don't want them peeling or sitting on top of your skin you slightly pat this into the skin and immediately I can feel that my skin feels very plump and very bouncy and so soft so that's that for the buffet so that one is £12.70 and then my absolute favourite one is the niacinamide and this is the one that I've seen a massive difference in my skin I use this almost every day um, and this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blowish formula so this has really helped my skin in terms of um, the pores is basically minimized it's giving me this refined texture this smooth texture and it's also helped with spots I don't get s spotty as I used to and I think it's because I use this in my routine this retails for five pounds and then the other one is the alpha R which is two percent plus hyaluronic acid so this is made for hyperpigmentations and treating dark spots I haven't used this that much I don't use it every day so maybe that's why I haven't noticed that much of a difference on an average probably once a week and I just lightly dust um, dot this on where I need you know I've got hyperpigmentation and then alpha R which is seven pounds and then the other one I have is the lactic acid this is 10% I just got a new bottle the other one I was using was the 5% so I would recommend you start off with a small dosage and then see how your skin reacts to it and then you can increase it so my skin loved this again this has helped more in terms of my hyperpigmentation and brightening my skin rather more than the alpha albutin did so this one is £5.50 right so after serum is moisturizer 
and I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge. The texture of this is between a gel and a sorbet, so it's more water-based, it's very light, but you can layer it on, you can build it up, and this leaves my skin super, super soft throughout the day and plump and bouncy. So the last but not the least, and this is the most important step of my routine, is my SPF and this is the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi Protection Essence with SPF 50. Do not leave the house without this, do not travel without this. Um, it's just a great SPF, doesn't leave you blue or violet, um, it looks white in colour. A little goes a long way. You can wear this on its own as a primer or as a moisturiser and because it's so light and not as thick as some of the other ones that I've used, it just makes it great for um, to wear under your makeup. This retails for £17. So now we need to find out how much the total value of my skincare costs. I'm going to add everything together and then we're going to take out the ones that was gifted to me. So all the masks are done. So the total value of every product that I've used today in this video is £266.94. I'm not sure if that's a lot or quite affordable. So yeah, that's that. So without the gifted items, the total value of my skincare is £137. Again, which I think is very affordable. Um, I think this was interesting and also a great way for me to show you or talk you through my skincare routine without doing the whole routine because it will we will be here all day if you have any questions about always let me know especially about the the ordinary i will link up the video here somewhere i also have a, a short video on the cognac spot and i think a few other products here as well so um, i'll link anything that is relevant and related to some of these products i'll link them all up here somewhere or in the description box below if you want to share how much your skincare costs i would love to know <laughs> this is it Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.